Hey buddy, it's 54 Newstar, and we're going to be working on a basically moving objects from Blender to Copper Cube. Now, if you are, you know, this is also very similar in any other type of engine to where you'll, uh, if you don't build your levels in the game engine, and most game engines actually don't allow you to build complete levels or anything like that. I mean, mostly, most have some sort of terrain editor and all that stuff, but you're going to have to use a 3D modeling software, i.e. Blender, Lightwave, Misfit Model 3D, um, Wings 3D, Autodesk, um, to actually create the texture a level. So that's why I did in Blender. Um, I textured a whole level and all that stuff. I'm actually going to edit the floor, but it works for me right now. And actually been slowly moving each piece to Copper Cube, and this is what it looks like in the scene. And I'll actually be adding normal maps, specular maps, and all that stuff. This, and then testing out my Android device. Um, not every bit is perfect. Again, we have some, you know, what I call stretched texturing, which is actually you can be seen right here. But you know, it works for me at this moment. I'll probably edit it later. Um, but right now, I just want to get into a um, add all this, add all the items in, and then test it to make sure you know the animated scene works. Right now, it looks really good. Okay, so what are we going to be doing in this episode? So this is going to be a quick episode. So we're going to be actually moving and moving objects from the 3D modeling software to the um, engine. So I'm going to take this panel, this you know metal sheet panel right here. It actually, it's not even. This is I've actually kind of decided to even add like lights, uh, like light bars. Basically, it's going to be like a metal bar with like spotlights and all that stuff across it, um, and on every like sheet metal surface in case of emergency and all that stuff to make it more. Um, what do you call it? Uh, realistic, in a sense, of a real tactical ship or something like that. But right now, we're going to move this object. So what I did was I moved actually everything. Um, to another scene and hold on up right back. Okay, so I got my OSD hotkeys back. So um, you know what key I'm pressing and all that stuff. So if you know Blender, whether you know the old Blender or the new Blender, you know that you have different um, basically levels or scenes within one scene. Or basically to simplify, you have different you know levels like an image editor. So this is level one. That's level two. I moved everything to level two. Now I'm gonna select that. Hit M, go to the first scene. I'm going to reselect it so I can view this. This may be nice with the normal map on it. Okay, and I'm going to hit File, Export to 3DS, to that file. Oh, um, file, I'm going to say Door Wall, Export 3DS. Go to the game engine. Now I know it's going to be roughly in this area. I'll edit it once I have the actual um, other lower part. And I'm going to hit right. I'm going to basically hit right click, insert, static mesh. Then we get the files. Go for there. There we go. Now some of these may have their center way off. Like it, like this one has its center has its center way off. So you, get, what you're gonna do is right click it, modify selection, center pivot point, and then you're good to go. Click what texture you want. Go to materials. There you go, and you're good to go. Now all you have to do is actually just roughly center where you think it uh, was in the actual ed editing software. What would actually be great is if this actually imported a whole Blender scene uh, while acknowledging each individual object's independence so that you can then move them around in case you need to in the engine. So that actually works right there. 
Um, make sure that fits there too. So somewhere right there. Okay. Now all we need is doorway. So what we're going to do is move that back to scene two. Uh, go to level two. And actually select a the like the door spacer and go to there. Again, we're gonna edit all this later. Okay, sorry about that guys, I had to test something out first. So here's our door spacer. Um, I just did a quick test to make sure it would work. I'm going to hit export, go to 3DS, go to interior, door space, minimize that, insert, static mesh, here we go. Apply the texture. And then what I actually what I'll do is go and copy this item's location. Go to there. And then just move it down. Wait till it hits the floor or about. Align it to the walls so that then we can um, have no spaces. There we go. And then actually just, oh yeah, we also need to. Modify section, center pivot point. Because we're actually going to have uh, a corridor, you actually won't see the spaces like you see right there. It's going to be all blocked off. Okay. So we're now going to move that, that back, and we're going to go back to the scene. We're actually going to copy the corridor, and we're going to move it, move that to scene one, and then we're going to copy, or actually export it, and we're actually going to call this underscore core underscore mini underscore one and actually because that should not be exactly right there but okay so that's a wee bit like a spacer. So I'm going to insert static mesh, the corridor mini. Modify selection, center pivot point. Again, we have multiple textures, so I'm actually going to select the floor texture. And I'm going to add another texture, and that's going to be the wall texture. It actually should be one more, unless I haven't edited this one. I didn't, but the other ones I did, so I actually edit that one. Which actually I can do right now, and I can show you guys that.
I can select all those. There we go. Okay. Go to top view. And then select my texture. Because we don't need so much, we can edit it a bit. So we can re export that out actually. We need to get the name of it. Export it. Override it and then move that back. And what we can do is modify selection, reload the mesh from the disk or the hard drive, recenter, um, add the roof texture. Go to materials. And we got our roof texture, our wall texture, and now the floor texture, which is right here. Boom, done. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is recenter this item to the door frame. Actually, the other way. Hmm. that. Paste it there. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this door right there. We're going to move it so we can't see the... There we go. Move that there. Now do we have the beginnings of a corridor. Alright guys, that's gonna be in it for this episode. Again, it's you know just beginning I'm gonna actually add the roof area and then um add some of the more other objects. Um like the hologram table, some of the uh workstations, maybe some um nets on the wall for spoils of trade or cargo since this is more of a trade cargo ship species and then I'll add the finishing corridor and then uh, once alien species are done model textured and all that stuff I'll actually do uh, have the scene with the animation where the guy walks through and then he tells his crew what to do and then they go to uh, another um, scene so hopefully guys this wasn't too long and hopefully guys you enjoyed it um, and learn something how to move stuff from Blender to Copper Cube. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.